Oh, I am so glad that you're here. Come on in. There's something really cool that I want to show you quick. Okay, so uh, what I want to show you is actually right here in the vanity in our bathroom. And But real quick, if you want to do me a favor, just pull up your mobile banking and just take a glance at what your checking account balance is. So uh, like mine right now is $222.11. And then we're just going to set that aside and I'm going to ask you a question quick and then we'll come back to this. Okay. Okay, so let me ask you, which feels better? This or this? So again, this is what our drawers used to look like before and what they look like now. Okay, here's another one. How about this or this? So again, this is what our drawers used to look like before and what they look like now. Okay, but here's the actual cool trick that I want to show you. So most of us only use 20% of the stuff in our bathroom. That means 88% of it is just sitting there taking up space and not getting used. And I think the bathroom is one of the rooms in our house where we are the worst at getting rid of stuff. And so here's what I want you to do is, okay, go back to um, that, you know, go back to where we had you pull up your bank account because we're going to watch this, okay? So have it where you can see it and then grab a garbage can. And so the only thing I want you to throw away or get rid of or donate is stuff that you're actually not using. So stuff that you have not used in the last six months or a year, because this stuff goes bad too. Like we can't keep it forever, right? So pull out, just take your garbage can and just literally toss like anything that you have not used in the last year. Uh, six months it depends I mean it just depends how how ruthless you want to be with this stuff and just only leave the stuff that you actually use okay but did you watch your your account the whole time see mine didn't go down at all like I got rid of probably uh, I don't know 80 or a hundred dollars worth of stuff here in this garbage can but it didn't change my bank account at all so it literally did not cost me any money to clear out this drawer so that I can have my bathroom be a peaceful place to be and it didn't it didn't actually cost me any money isn't that remarkable <laughs> so that's what I wanted to show you today I'm gonna show you all the parts of our bathroom answer questions like how many towels we have but I really want to encourage you that so often we hang on to this stuff because we paid money for it, but it doesn't actually put any money back into our bank account to keep it and it doesn't cost us any money to part with it once we've already paid for it. And so one of the easiest ways to actually go about doing this is to set your boundary. So this is actually what I use in the other bathroom for my hair products. So create your boundary. It can be a bin from the dollar store and just literally only pull out the things that you use on a daily or weekly basis monthly if you really want to <laughs> go that far. So create your boundary like we talked about in my last video. Fill it up with the stuff that you actually use and then you know that everything left in there, it's all extra stuff that you could donate, you could share it with a friend or just honestly toss it in the garbage so that you can have some peace back in your bathroom. So welcome to our bathroom. This is one of two bathrooms that we have. This is our only full bath. And bathrooms are really fun because it's not a very big space. So you can transform it in like a half hour with a couple bins from the dollar store. I mean, it doesn't have to take long if you just get really serious about your stuff and are really ruthless with what you're actually using and what you're saving for someday. And I know as I was filling the garbage can, a lot of people would be like, but I will use that someday or I will get to it. But did you know that when it comes to bathroom stuff, hair products and lotions, that you are five times more likely to buy something new before you ever use up a product that you have or use something that you already have in here. Five times. And I know that's the case for me. I I rarely use up a whole hair product before I'm on to the next thing, right? And then I have something else that I need to try and use up. And so when I really took a hard look at the things that were cluttering up our bathrooms, it was things that I had tried and that really didn't work for me or I didn't like. And so it's hard to part with those things because a lot of times we spend a lot of money on them, right? But I want to encourage you, just like I showed you with the drawers in our vanity here, that it feels 
so much better to start your day off in a bathroom that is simplified and organized than always having to look at those products that we've paid money for and feel guilty about them. <laughs> so I highly encourage you get a garbage bag, donate them to a friend or, or somewhere else that can make use of them, but clear them out of your bathroom and it's going to feel so much better. So I do want to show you all the different spaces in our bathroom and just answer some questions that frequently come up. Like how many bath towels do you have? So we have six people in our family two adults and four kids and so we have eight bath towels how i arrived at that was two per adult and one for each of the kids and in the past i actually had the towels color coded so every child knew, knew which one was theirs but now we've gotten into a habit and this works well for us we have plenty of towels so I don't worry about that anymore. Similarly, uh, we have maybe eight washcloths. I don't even know if we have that many actually, <laughs> but about the same number of washcloths and then three or four hand towels. So just enough to rotate them through the wash and then hang them back up again. But here's what's so cool about this, about really significantly limiting our linens in the bathroom is that it makes laundry so much easier and we never have like huge piles on the floor or in our laundry room anymore and so yeah does it take a little bit of getting used to of course but i can imagine going back now this works so well for our family and i i can hardly think of a time when someone goes to take a shower and they don't have a towel it just it never happens and so we're used to it now i also have shown you recently uh how much hair products i keep so literally they all fit in one of these bins from the dollar store and when it comes to bathroom organization, in this bathroom, we just have this one linen cabinet and it's where we keep all of our medicine and more bathroomy things, aloe and I don't know, poison ivy treatment that Tom needs that from time to time. And so in this bathroom, we did invest in the clear acrylic bins which I really like because they have straight sides, everything stands up nicely. They're the right size for this cabinet and you can see through them. I know a lot of people use dollar store bins for that too and I think that's an awesome idea, but I do like the clear bins so you can see what's inside of them. But honestly, I only use those in this bathroom and then in our other bathroom where the kids and I get ready, it's all Dollar Tree, it's all Dollar Tree bins. <laughs> so we have one drawer that has all of their toothbrushes and toothpaste in it and the other drawers are literally only a half or a third full with my makeup bag with our hair clipper set and then with some of the girls hair accessories and so it's funny because when i look in the drawers i'm like they are not full at all but we've really pared it down to just the things that we use and it's fun even in our small house having some extra space in our bathrooms and then just like in the kitchens, we keep the vanity tops pretty cleared off. So we'll have a hand soap out, but otherwise we keep it pretty simple because then it's really easy to wipe them down and to clear it off. So that seems to work out really well for us. I also really try to limit how much stuff we store in the shower. So we only keep stuff in there that we are actually using. And granted, the kids are young yet, so we don't have tons of extra products for them, but we just keep it pared down to the things we actually use. And I like that the shower doesn't have tons of clutter and different stuff in it. Also, we don't keep a lot of tub toys. I love these toys by Green Toys. We have had them for at least four or five years. They don't get moldy. They're easy to dump the water out of and the kids of all ages love them. And so they were a really great investment. They're not even that expensive. But if you're looking for birthday or Christmas gifts for your kids, I would highly recommend these. And also I would never ever get those letters that like stick to the wall. Any of those like foam things that are meant for the bathtub, who invented those? Those are the worst ever, right? And picking them up again, oh my goodness. So we don't have, we had like one of those nets that stuck to the tub and all that. We don't do that anymore. We have just those couple green toys and then we'll take like cups or different little containers and Tupperware containers from time to time if they want something different to play with. But kids actually don't need a ton of variety. Actually, what has been the most fun for them in the tub that we've gotten the most use of? Let me see if I can find one. These, these syringes after you finish like medicine these provide hours of entertainment in the tub for whatever reason <laughs> so i don't know so if you have any extras of these hanging around uh they love those i would love to like what other non-conventional things do your kids like to play with in the tub i think most tub toys like actual tub toys are not good they're not good at all and so we've just kept it super simple they fit in the bottom of our cabinet here and it works out great and then of course we still have our open shelves in here. They're a little controversial when they first went in, but I really like them. We just have toilet paper, some extra toilet paper in that bottom basket and then decorations. The top basket has some hand towels, but we don't ever use them. They're just for decoration. It is okay to have some decoration, of course, too. I like that it's on the wall though and up off the counters and even like the back of the toilet, we just keep cleared off so it's easy to wipe down and, and that works well for us. And I, yes, I still very much like them. 
All right, well, I guess that's all for the bathroom. I just encourage you, go ahead and get rid of the stuff that you aren't using. Part with it now before it goes bad. Maybe someone else could actually make use of it, but statistically, you're never gonna use it. <laughs> We're kind of all the same in that regard. So go ahead, get rid of it. Enjoy your simplified space. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you subscribe so that we can spend more time together. I'd love to help you simplify your house too. A thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us, and I will definitely look forward to visiting with you again soon.